Hello, guys. I just want to say one thing. I want to say one thing and one thing only. Where is Danganronpa going to go from here? Because for those... Okay. For those of you that haven't seen the ending yet, I'm going to talk about it. So you all who haven't played V3, you need to go. Like, right now. If you don't want to be spoiled, if you don't want me to tell you everything, go. Okay, I'm going to give you like a minute. Or pause the video and, I don't know, look at a few of the uh, cutscenes or shit if you can't get the game. Okay, they're gone? Okay, so since in the game, so in the universe of Danganronpa and everything's all fiction and shit and Team Danganronpa is in this, I, I don't know. I think they might just ignore this ending. Like, the shit in it probably still happened and, and, um, you know, Shinichi and Maki and Himiko are alive. Everybody else is probably still dead, but, you know, they could go in a different way, like, like, I don't know where they can go from here, because, you know, when you pull the everything is fictional card, there's not really a lot of places you can go from there. I mean, if your name ain't Deadpool, there's really nothing you can do. I don't know, because I'm just thinking to myself, where could Danganronpa go from here? I'm just literally sitting here thinking to myself, like, you know, I think Danganronpa is basically over, because there's nowhere else for them to go. They can make another saga, sure, but that means they're gonna have to set up another char a bunch of characters that need to be that are gonna get killed and all this other stuff. But I feel like maybe now, now since like let's put Danganronpa in another direction. Probably not in a killing game sense, but I did have this idea. What if we just what if, what if people just sell the Danganronpa dating game instead of just and then instead they could just release this as a side game. Because I really feel like at this point, until they make a main game, they should just do spinoffs for a while. Maybe do some little hints that there might be another Danganronpa game down the line, sometime in the future. Sometime in the near future, but but Danganronpa itself, but Danganronpa itself, like let's just. Let's just, how about we just let them do, like, spinoffs? Like, I would love to see, like, a dang like, that, the, uh, Danganronpa board game, the, uh, ultimate, what is that, what is that called? The ultimate, the ultimate talent development plan into an actual, like, full game. As its own thing, as a spinoff, you know, that good stuff. More interactions with the characters and sort of it's sort of it being its own thing. Or or we can pick up where it's Despair Girls left off. Because there's a big old fucking question mark there since they wanted to play the whole meta card. They did say everything in the every Every um, thing got destroyed because of meteors, and there were also missiles. But I guess we're not even talking about that. That's out of the window. Fuck that. And if there is going to be another one, could we not use Junko? I mean, I mean, I I get it. You use to use to go use to go me for the whole um, use. The blue-haired chick, I keep forgetting her name or saying it wrong. Uh, you get her to be Junko because she has the ultimate... She has the ultimate cosplaying skill, and I get that. I get that shit. That works. But I'm just saying to myself, like, do, you know... You know, she can be Junko without actually bringing back Junko. But I'm saying, in the next one... If there is going to be a next one, can we, can we just... I mean, we can make references to Junko... But no bringing her back. She's come, she's come back like five, like three different times now. Or, 
or you know, we can uh, we can finish the dang and roll up the story in the in anime form. Because I gotta admit, the Danganronpa anime was pretty good. The whole Speak Academy arc thing for the for the uh, anime was pretty good. We actually see what Junko did to make everybody fall in despair. And shit, it was dark and rough. Holy shit, everybody just fucking killed each other. I was like, oh my god. Like, afterwards, I was like, shit, I need to watch on Happy. That was too fucking depressing. So I was like, so you know, this was, you know, I was like, <laughs> like after that, I was like, oh, I'm watching some American Dad. Fuck that. <laughs> but anyways, I just really don't understand where Danganronpa could go from here anymore because, like, once once you pull that meta fiction card, it just it it go. You know, you don't know what you're gonna do. Or they can't just make the up. They can just they can't just pick up where where to where Despair Girls and the anime left off in in game form or in the anime. So that way, you know, they don't have to like they don't have to make another game, but they can kind of finish up that part of the story. Because in the world of Danganronpa, it's the world of Danganronpa in its universe. The killing game Danganronpa has it has like fifty three seasons, so yeah. And seriously, I don't think a show could run that long. I don't care what you all say. That's to me that that's impossible. I can't fathom that. Simpsons could probably get away with that, but after a while, I think Matt Groening's gonna give up on it. Like. As soon as we get to season 30, he's like, fuck this shit, I'm done. Okay, Fox, I'm done. He just, there's going to be a Matt Green size hole through his fucking door. He's going to be like, I'm out of here. I can make more things other than Simpsons. Eat my short But you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, guys, I really feel like I don't know where Danganronpa can go. You know, it's... To me, it's just, I don't know. I fucking don't know. You know what I mean? I just don't know. I don't know where it can go. It's, you know, to me, that's like a mystery because I keep thinking about all these different solutions, but it really depends on Team Danganronpa. And you know what? If I could talk about the ending for a minute, like I did in my uh, review, I feel like the ending wasn't insulting us. I feel like it was, it was like congratulating us for always playing the games, you know. They're the, re you know, saying, you know, saying we're the reason this game is how it is, and we're the reason why we love it so much. It wasn't mirroring back. We, you know, we hate you guys. We have some sort of deep hatred for you, like a certain other uh, franchise. Let's go. <coughs> But, but it was saying, you know, thank you guys for playing and liking the show. And the fact that we want to save these characters in every Danganronpa game. Don't, don't give me that whole, you guys, I, I want to save this character or that character. I never wanted to save this character or that character. Someone out there wanted to save one character. I wanted to save Miu, to be honest. I, she's my favorite. I feel like. I feel like it would have been good if she would have been able to stay on because I feel like with Miu, there's a lot of stuff we really, there's a lot of stuff that could have been really expounded upon. We know that she was in a car accident. Well, we know that because the fucking, we know that because if you actually like spend time with her, she'll tell you. But the flashback, like, but we don't know how she was before that. I would love to see an anime of what all the, all the V3 characters were before they got hit with the flashback light. Like who was Miu and who was Tanko who was who was Tanko, Shinichi and all the others. Like who were they? Because we do get glimpses of what Shin who was Shin who Shinichi was and I know Shinichi and the others didn't actually have their actual 
thing in Wampanoags, and they probably had different names. But I'm going by that and wondering uh, who they were. And another thing, I wonder what I wonder who Maki was. If she wasn't really this ultimate fucking assassin, who was she? Who was she before the whole killing game started? Like, what? I want to know who these characters were as care as like people. If that's possible. And if I would be so bold, I think I think Tango would I think Tango was dude crazy before she uh my own hand cannon is I feel like Tango was like dude crazy uh before she went into the killing game and got to be a part of Dang and Rampa. That's my thing. That's what I think happened. But she wanted to be the opposite of herself to just kind of make everything a little bit more entertaining. That's what I think happened. And don't get me and don't get me wrong. I fucking love Jungo, but I feel like yeah, we need to take a break from her for a while. Or if you're gonna revive her, or if you're gonna bring her back next time, bring her back all the way. Like instead of like, like like bring her back and just say, and she goes like. You know, with me being alive again, I can cause, you know, with me being alive again, I can cause a whole bunch of despair, so I won't kill myself, I won't die again. You know, something like that. I would love to see something like that, because, if you know, if we're gonna really, if we're really gonna keep Junko around, I say let's keep her, let's keep her around full time. Oh, right? Here's a third option. You know the dating sim in every dang and romp game after you beat the main game? Let's just make the let's just put those games as a compilation like a dating sim. Because dudes, people will play dating sims, like like people will play fucking visual novels and dating sims. So okay, if dang and romp was any indication is the fact that we'll play dating sims and like all this other shit, you know, if you look at Nekapara and all the other, like, visual novel type games on Steam, it, it's a pretty, indi it's a big indication that will basically play, will basically, will basically, like, watch and play anything. You know, guys, I'm just trying to say, like, that's what we, that's what I'm just, that's what I'm just trying to tell you guys. Like, I'm just saying, let's like, let's, let's, and let's make the dang it, let's make that, the dang and rompa RPG part of the game, like in a full game too, just with more stuff in it. Or if you, or if you would permit me to be so bold, put it on the Switch. I beg you, team dang and rompa, put it on the Switch. Put one, two, and three on the Switch. I would fucking, I would love it. I would love it. I just, I just call it like Danganronpa, the complete story, and then put the anime in there too. I mean, if Kingdom Hearts can get away with like putting uh, birth, you know, three hundred days over twenty, uh, I'm saying it wrong. If they could put it in there as a as like a little movie. Y'all can do the same thing with uh, the Switch, I believe, because Crash Bandicoot's gonna be on there. It's gonna have the insane trilogy with all the, with the, with one, two, and three. So I'm just sorry, I'm going to do that. And I can't wait for the Spir I can't wait for the Spiral Collection to come out too. I am so excited about that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, because I just felt like I needed to talk about that. I don't know where Dang and Rob was gonna go. If it is gonna even come back after this. But I feel like spinoffs are the way to go. Mostly because they're the uh, likely choice right now. I mean, they could do more ambitious, more ambitious things. But I feel like 
I feel like by doing more ambitious things, I feel like by doing more ambitious things with um, Danganronpa, uh, I don't know if they should. I just feel like spinoffs are a way to go. Maybe even a Danganronpa kart racer. Fuck, I'll go with, I'll, I'll play that too. I don't know, man. That was more of a joke. I don't know. But, eh. I feel like, at this point, let's try and see. Let's put Danganron off in a whole different direction. And let's just... And if we can't... If Team Danganronpa doesn't want to make a full-on freaking another game, they can just keep make They can make another spinoff. Like the Spare Girls, or... Heck, even make the RPG into a full-on game. Or, yeah, even the even the Ultimate Talent Development Plan, make them do a game, too. With its own story and has all the other characters in it, kind of like how V3 has it right now. But a whole different story and stuff. Say, like, Junko never wanted... Like, this is an alternate universe where Junko never did plunge the world into despair. The ultimate despairs in this universe don't exist. Monokuma exists, but he exists for a whole different reason. Let's say he's the headmaster of this version of Home Sweet Academy, and that's like the only thing Danganronpa related about this. Like, he's just there, and he actually even acknowledges that he's only there so the fans would actually get the game. That's kind of like an ins that'd be like an inside joke. I just think that would kind of that would be great too. I believe, but hey, you know, those are my ideas. I don't really know where Hank and Romp is going, and wherever it's gonna go, I'll be there to be like, I'll be there to enjoy it and probably be a little bit horrified that my favorite character died again. But hey. I'm Bugsy, and I'll see you later, and I kind of hate the Kibo died. You know, they lived, but he's dead now, and I, I just hate that. Shinichi and Maki and Himiko got to survive, but he didn't, and I, I hate that. But he did say it was going to be a sacrifice for everybody, but still, it kind of sucks. Or, let's see what Shinichi, let's see what Shinichi, or... Someone make like a manga or something that says what happens to Shinichi and Maki and Himiko after they go and after they transcend reality. I would love to see that too. Also, can I just say one thing though? The uh, dating game I feel like happens right after the right after the story because you still see the debris from the ending. So, think about that for a minute. <sighs> well, I'm done here. But, um, see you guys later. Bye, folks. Mm -hmm. And.